Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, as I said in the last episode, um, I had to split a single recording session into two parts. So, this little intro thing is obviously being done in post. And it's actually really hard to do one of these in post, so I'm just gonna like cut back to the original video now. And Metropolis is over, this time, for real. Oh, I didn't really pretend it was over. In back to- whatever. And we are now on a plane, and we can control it. Um, up obviously makes you go up, down makes you go down. And left and right make you move forward and backwards. This level's just kind of a fun thing, although the wing of the plane can sometimes get in the way when trying to jump on these turtle badniks, so make sure that it is that the plane is out of the way when trying to jump on them. What are these things anyway? We got a 1-up from, uh, I assume, amount of points. Because it definitely wasn't from the amount of rings we have. Oh, look at that thing flying in the background. Isn't that thing cool? Yeah, Sky Chase has become a kind of an iconic thing in the Sonic series. Uh, several games have a Sky Chase level, although it seems to have gone away in more recent years. But like, Sonic Pocket Adventure has one, uh, Sonic Adventure has two. Of course, Sonic 2 has one as well, but it was the original. And level uh, end with no little card or anything, no signpost. And Tails gets shot down, which is very upsetting. Uh, I'm not going to. <laughs> very upsetting in a monotone voice. Um, but yeah, I'm not really going to. I don't know what I was trying to say there, um, but on to what I would have said. Okay, point to be made. They're finally getting into it. Um, if you are playing with Tails turned on, he disappears from this point on, which is, uh, like obviously in Sky Chase, it's just you standing on the plane, and he doesn't appear in Wing Fortress or any levels after. Which is a nice little detail, obviously, because, you know, it's, it's the plot of the game. Now, you can damage boost through this and take a massive shortcut, but I'm not going to do that. That's what I was trying to look out for. Oh, you can't destroy those. I thought you could. Alright. <clears throat> You're gonna get the speed shoes early, and do nothing with it. In fact, it's going to be a hindrance instead of a help get that one up. Finally, we start to use it. And there, it just ran out.
All right, these are up here. Why are those up there? Now, you know, because we aren't in ball mode, we couldn't jump off directly onto the chicken with the gun. I think... Well, no, no, their name... Is their name Clockwood? I, I don't know. But, um, chicken with a gun is funnier, so it doesn't matter. And see, this is the area we could have skipped to earlier. As proven by the fact that I accidentally got hit right here. So yeah, a uh, pretty big shortcut, wouldn't you say? We need to platform across these pretty quickly before they go in. I don't know why that registered is already activated, because it wasn't. Although it is a good thing we clicked it. I don't understand how these launchers work, if that's not obvious. Though it looks like I have to use it. Okay, don't press anything when using those. That's how they work. Alright, just use these. Get ourselves rings, obviously, those are good. I see, we are over here now. I didn't think there were two in a row, but apparently there were. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the checkpoints in uh, Wing Fortress here, they're kind of... ...not working like they do in the rest of the game, which is weird. Things aren't going well because of these platforms. Messing me up. Now, uh, neat little secret. There's a one up there. Although, uh, this video is actually very, very long. Which is unfortunate. Oh, and Tails is back, as you can see. He added a little thing to the plane from earlier, if you didn't notice. It's this little jet booster, so we can keep up with Eggman's ship. Well, long enough to grab onto Eggman's ship. And ride it into outer space. And it's time for the hardest part of the game now. There are no rings here. And at some point he starts to do a really bad attack, that one. Let's see if I can do this. No, I was too far away. That's not good. And that's not good either. You can jump into him when he's doing that, but I keep messing it up. Yes, Silver Sonic is the hardest part, how did you know?
right, I forgot about that. You do have to jump into him if you choose the spin dash as your attack method. I would have said the hardest boss in the game. As like a subtle thing, but... Everyone knows about this, right? Oh, god damn it. I messed that up. It has been too long. I have to do Silver Sonic again now, by the way. And I did not attack him first round. This is bad for us. It's good. I completely misjudged what attack he was going to do next. It's kind of bad because my memory starts to get fuzzy around this part. As you can see. Once you learn where the Death Egg Robot's hitboxes are, it is really easy, but Silver Sonic is not that way. Silver Sonic is difficult. Even if you know what he's gonna do. Eat it, Silver Sonic. Stop walking. Please stop walking. That was risky. Yeah, I'm rusty at the Death Egg Robot, but the real problem, of course, is... Mr. Silver Sonic here. And I was so focused on avoiding him, I forgot to hit him at least once. But it's okay, because we hit him an extra time in the... In one of his attacks, so... We actually had a hit to spare. Do your hands. God damn it. that up. Jeez, I knew we had continues, but I didn't know I had that many. So yeah, um, continues start you off with three lives, and because there's no checkpoint here, um, basically, we have a lot of completely, uh, well, there's... There's no disadvantage to using one. It's not like, oh no, we won't have the non-existent checkpoint anymore. Because as I said, uh, it's non-existent. We don't have a checkpoint anymore. And the reason I'm being so careful is because his little... Quills? Saws? Wh whatever that thing is on the back of his head. That is a hitbox when it is moving, so... That's specifically why I'm making such a fuss to avoid it. I still need to figure out how to dodge Death Egg Robot's hands again. It's been too long, so I don't remember how they work. I think I'm just not moving correctly. Definitely the worst part of this is this asshole. if that wasn't already clear already. That's why I'm having so much trouble de-rusting on the Death Egg Robot, because I have to deal with this menace to society every time. But there is a cheese tactic if you can do if you stand in the right place. And I've done it. The reason I say in the right place is those, uh, flames, when he's coming down, have damage hitboxes on them, like fucking everything on this motherfucker. So you need to position it right so that you can hit him, but he can't instantly kill you. For that spin dash trick, which is not easy. Do your hands. we go. Did it! I dodged his hands. Oh, he's doing his walk now. Okay, okay. Doing his walk, doing his walk. This is good, this is good, this is good. Also, this final boss music is really good. I used to not like it. I used to think it wasn't so good. It is so good. There we go. Finally, getting the hang of those hands. Now he's gonna do his little walk. His merry jaunt. Because that's the truth of it. You play it safe when hitting Death Egg Robot. Oh! 
His hands do have limited range. God damn it. I just said playing it safe when hitting Death Egg Robot, and then he stopped. I stopped playing it safe, and uh, now we have to do Silver Sonic because of it. Alright, so it's time to finally reveal, in, you know, in post voiceover, why I saved Attempt 4 of Silver Sonic until later. As you can see in this background footage, I used the exploit on Silver Sonic to do a ton of damage to him, uh, right here. And, um, this directly precedes the successful attempt at the Death Egg robot. And because of that, I, I didn't want to do Silver Sonic dirty like this, because, you know, it's... It's just kind of cheap to do that, in my opinion. Uh, what I just did. Uh, this was at the end of a long session, so it makes sense why I did it. But... Uh, I don't feel it would be right to just show this kind of, you know, like I, I cheesed Silver Sonic, right? And I don't want to show that in the Let's Play. I want to show the actual Silver Sonic fight. So I isolated my favorite attempt, which was attempt number four. And I am, I'm just going to, like, splice that in after this really long ass talk about how I'm gonna do that is over and then I'm gonna put the successful death egg robot fight after that and that's that's pretty much how it's all gonna work so um yeah how about uh, we cut to that right now I think I am going to have to dodge one of those attacks because the math just doesn't add up. You know, the bad one I said I didn't like? That was improvised, by the way. I've never dodged one of those before. You got fucked, Silver Sonic. You suck. You know. Is the actual final boss. I'm not gonna hit it when it rises up. It's it doesn't have collision yet when it's rising up, so it's a, there's a very small amount of time when you can hit it. Land over here. Land right here. Use your hands, bitch. Although I didn't get to hit him because of that, so maybe not the best idea. Although he does alternate from the hand throwing and the walking, so... It could be pretty effective. Use your hands, bitch. And then we're not gonna run over and try and hit him again, because I am not confident in that at all. I think this guy takes like 12 hits or something. He takes so much damage. I mean, it makes sense. He's a giant fucking ass robot, but... The Death Egg Robot has a new name, everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm not brave enough. I am not brave enough. Now walk, bitch, walk. Get get that exercise. Get that exercise. Get your daily steps in. I'm definitely gonna trim down this section. I forgot it was gonna be a arm throwing attack cycle. But yeah, um, 
I'm definitely gonna trim down this section because I've been doing this for a long ass time. Because of that, I'm gonna keep my favorite iteration of the silver and death egg robot fights. So, and some minor clips, but it's ending time. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, first, first things first, happy birthday, Sonic 2, because I know for a fact I can get it out by the 24th now. Um, second thing, you might be wondering, uh, I said back in the first episode that Sonic 2's, quote, good ending is worse than the, quote, bad ending. We just saw the bad ending because we didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds. But in the good ending, Sonic goes Super Sonic and Tails doesn't catch him with the plane. Which I, I and several other people think that that is genuinely a worse ending because Tails doesn't even need to be there. But in this one, you know, it's that bond of friendship. Tails flies up and he saves him and it's, it's that kind of thing, right? But yeah, anyway, uh, unlike Sonic 1, no uh, little credits demos, which it, it always bothered me that the rest of the classic series didn't have that. Uh, with the exception of Sonic CD, of course, because it had uh, rockin' FMVs instead. But, like, I'm, I mean, like, uh, Sonic 3, Sonic 2, they didn't have the little demos at the end during the credits, and, um, you know, I kind of think that was a bit of a missed opportunity there. But, uh, yeah. That's Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Kind of. It's, it's, it's not quite over yet. But yeah, that is, as I've stated several times, Sonic 2 in its entirety there. Uh, is it... Is it, like, the best Sonic game? No. No, it, it's it's not. But, um, I will admit, um, I haven't really said it anywhere online, but I have said it to people in private, and I will say, I was too harsh on this game. I, I was definitely... misremembering some of the ending parts of this game. Honestly, it's not... it's not so bad. It's pretty good. That's a good note to end on, I think. No Robotnik juggling the Chaos Emeralds. Now, there is one thing that I won't be able to do. We're gonna wait on the title screen, and we're gonna see it in action. But yeah, I, I just have no way to do this. Yeah, no way to show off the two-player mode of Sonic 2. I can go into the uh, menu for it, though, and I I'll still show off a few little bits of Sonic 2 goodness.
before I leave off. Alright, so I could go into that menu, but I couldn't really get out of it very easily. So instead... Hey! Here's some of the two-player music right now, actually! This is the results screen. Uh, from two-player. So we're just gonna let this play out, because... It's good music, and actually gets reused in several places. I believe the skill shop in Sonic Generations uses it. And it is, it is really good, so... And yeah, I know I'm talking over the music. Yeah, whatever. You can find it online pretty easily if you want it isolated. Alright, that's Emerald Hill. Oh, wait. This is two-player Mystic Cave Zone. It's pretty good. What am I saying? The whole soundtrack's pretty good. Two-player casino night. Which, you know, I really like. It's a shame this, like, didn't have a more accessible use, if you know what I mean. Because it is, uh, really good. left, although we have heard part of it already. Yep, two-player Emerald Hill. I honestly prefer this song to actual Emerald Hill. I'm not even gonna lie about it. But there is one more thing in here. If I can find it. There it is. This is the song that has long been associated with Hidden Palace Zone in Sonic 2. For some reason, the Christian Whitehead version, which re-added Hidden Palace, did not use for that level. I... I don't even really know what to say about that. That's just really annoying and bothers me a lot. And if you were to go to the uh, level slot that would contain Hidden Palace, it is uh, empty, except for some old objects. Like, in this release version of the game, it's empty except for some old objects, and this is the music that would play there. And that's why it was associated with that. I think one of the betas might have also had it play there too, but I, uh, it's been too long since I've looked at any of the numerous Sonic 2 betas that have leaked over the years. 
Oh, we're gonna save that one. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else for us in here. Except there totally is. Now watch as I... From memory, because I just know... That ring chime signals that the cheat code I just implemented, that I just input, not implemented, what? That I just input is active. And I hold A and start right here. And boom! We're in the level select. And yes, you can still access the sound testing if you want. Right, I forgot. This is the music for Super Sonic. I mean... I would just show you Super Sonic, but I actually don't, mm, I actually don't know the code for that, and the special stages in this game really suck, so not gonna happen. It is a banger though, not even gonna lie about it. Now we're gonna go into Emerald Hill as Tails. Uh, he actually can't, he can't fly yet, like under player control. He can fly back to player one when he's just, when in Sonic and Tails mode, but like, the player has no control over this. Uh, the first game where he could fly under player control is Sonic Chaos, actually. It's not Sonic 3. Shame I didn't have 50 rings there. Alright. I need to be very careful. Not great. There are no uh, checkpoints here. I'm gonna have to go find one without dropping these. I'm not fucking platforming up to that one. Although I have platformed up to it before. You know what, I'm gonna try it. And we are now in... The Sonic 2 Special Stage, the genesis of the half pipe. How is it? Not very good. The draw distance is... Shall we say... Four? Uh, not to mention on turns like that, and some other formations, you really can't see where the rings are coming from. Oh, and uh, in Sonic and Tails mode, you have to collect more rings than you do with a character by themselves, even though Tails is completely useless at getting rings because of how he works. I'm not gonna... Like, he can pick them up, but he's very bad at it uh, in Sonic and Tails mode. Here, I mean, I have direct control, just like with Sonic, so we're all good. But, uh, yeah. And there is... This is... Well, not this special stage in particular, but special stages are one of the modes in the little multiplayer thing. But yeah, this is, uh, the only Chaos Emerald I can actually get. The other one... The other stages are too annoying for me, and I also just don't care. But, uh, yeah, that is Sonic 2. And, yeah, with the level select code active, you can press start, and then once the game is paused, press A, and it'll take you back to the title screen. Which is very handy, I must say. But, anyway. That's it for Sonic 2. Uh, I really don't know how to end this video. <laughs> so... Happy Sonic Tuesday, everyone!